why can I talk to you? The elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. <laughs> His meticulously clean lab coat, formal jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. He notices you approach and locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Hello there, stranger. Might I inquire, do you know which organ grinder's facility this body will be removed to? Uh, who's asking? Why would you want to know something like that? Wow, I didn't even know elves would be that ugly. <laughs> who's asking? The elf giggles a strange, high-pitched warble you would not expect to emerge from his misshapen face. Oh, I'm no one of a consequence. Never mind that, though. A good evening to you and your friend, the coroner. He's not an elf? Maybe he's not an elf. Alright, bye. I mean, you didn't get the answer, so... So what brings you here? Hot on the trail of the dead man's killer. Coincidence, believe it or not. I take it I've stumbled across another Ripper murder. Yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, the Ripper went for the eyes this time. Pretty, pretty clean work. I gotta hand it to him. Our Ripper knows what he's doing, or she, I suppose. What do you know about the victim? Well, not much. Dresden scratches his head absent-mindedly, probably breaking some sort of, sort of sanitation protocol. She's been dead for about three hours. Her name was Lucy Warden. Worked at the Stuffer Shack, just around the corner. Looks like she was just leaving work when it happened. Can you tell if she was subdued in some way before her eyes were removed? That's a strange thing, there doesn't seem to be any signs of a struggle. Not a single bruise on her body, yet. She was clearly alive when the eyes were taken. Died of blood loss shortly after. As to what knocked her out, I won't know until I can run some tests back at the lab. Bite marks. I thought you ran the Redmond franchise, isn't Pike Place a little far from home? Yeah, well, I don't really mind the change of scenery. The coroner for the downtown branch is out on maternity, so I told management that I'd cover for her on this one. Plus, I want this sickle caught. Alright. What about the bite marks on her arm? Ah, completely unrelated. It appears some wild dogs dragged the body out here from the alley sometime after her death. <laughs> what? Some wild dogs dragged her body out here from the alley sometime after her death. Wild dogs. Coyote's journal talked about having to shoot a, a supernatural dog at some point, a hellhound, right? Any sign of magic use here, there was evidence of an unusual explosion in the alley where Sam died. Now there's an interesting thought. No, nothing obvious though. I'm sure when McCluskey shows up, he'll call in a full magical forensics team though, just to be sure. So the Ripper takes Sam's liver and this woman's eyes and he theories. Trophies of some sort, I suppose. Probably of some symbolic significance to the killer. Beyond that, I wouldn't speculate. Aren't they building a, a new human? Aren't they going to use the body parts to build a person? A body? Did you notice a particularly ugly elf standing over there in the crowd earlier? Huh? Where? Dresden scans the spectators around the crime scene. He's gone now, but he was asking about the body, wondering which organ grinder's facility it will be taken to. Interesting. Well, there's those who might be interested in purchasing some so some of her parts, sure. But that's pretty poor form to inquire at the site of a murder. An ugly elf, eh? I'll, have, I'll keep an eye out. Shouldn't be hard to spot if he comes back around. Alright, enough questions. Thanks, Tristan. Hey, I figure if I help you out, there's a better chance to get the scumbag off the streets a little sooner. McCluskey wants to rip her in a cell, sure. But he couldn't care less if it takes another dozen murders. Good luck out there, eh? Tristan starts to turn back to the body then stops. Speaking of McCluskey, you should probably get going soon before he shows up. Alright. I can still talk to him? So we failed to donate to the Orphans Fund. Because I didn't have enough money. I do have the necklace. Which I'm not going to give to the guy. Wait, that's not complete?
Alright, I'm gonna talk to Paco now. The kid in front of you spots the trademark yellow of the Cutters gang. Young, clean-shaven, he stands like he owns the street and everyone on it. He seems distracted though, glancing around with, an in with increasing agitation. He looks at you as you approach. Watch yourself, what do you want? Uh, you wouldn't happen to be looking for Coyote, would you? Are you Paco? Careful kid, you Paco? Are you Paco? Yeah, might be, who the hell are you? Uh, looking for Coyote, I need to ask some questions. I'm the one who's going to pretend you have better manners. I need to find. <laughs> I need to find Coyote. Relax, we're in the same team. I'm missing his deal. It's just at the union. Your girlfriend's gone missing. I'm trying to. I'm unhappy, and I'm helping to find her. All right, I'm helping to find her. Your girlfriend's gone missing. The tough guy swagger seems to drain out of Paco. The cutter is gone, and before you stands a kid in a yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Ah, wrecked. Emotional damage. Coyote is missing. Oh man, that would explain. She was supposed to meet me here over an hour ago. Look, sorry for getting in your face like that. What else do you know? If she's missing, I need to find her. You and me, boy. Do you know a fixer named Mr. Delilah? Coyote has a, had a meeting with him a few days ago. Ever heard of a place called Mori meat, Mori's Meat Market? Coyote had a receipt for some zebra meat from there. A fixer named Mr. Delilah. I know of him, sure. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take side gigs, though, so I got no reason to deal with him. Coyote hasn't said anything about taking new work. Wait a minute. Drek, I know where she went. Damn, why couldn't she wait? Damn it. Paco, slow down. Where did she go? The Royal Apartments. The landlord, Stevie J, runs a drug ring out of that hellhole. Coyote grew up there. Doesn't like to talk about it much. She's been looking for a way to settle the score with that guy for years. Oh, cool. A few days back, I heard Mr. Delilah was looking for runners to steal some sort of item from out under Stevie J's nose. She must have taken the job, I'm sure of it. And if the th his thugs caught her, there's a grim determination in Paco's eyes. I'm going over there. You coming? I'm in. Don't worry, we'll get her back. Well, she's my only lead. Let's do this before I change my mind. I'll help you get Coyote back, but you better be able to handle yourself in a fight. Things might get ugly. Uh, one more thing. Coyote had a receipt for some zebra meat from a place called Murray's Meat Market. Ever heard of it? Zebra meat? What? Look, that shop's just down the block if you want to check it out. But I'm going to the Royale with a will your help. What's going to be? Alright. You better be able to handle yourself in a fight. Of course I know my way around a fight. Stevie J's better be ready for a world of hurt. Paco curls his hands into a fist. A fist? You don't have a gun? Now let's get moving. The Royal is just a few blocks from here. Alright, we're gonna look for Coyote. Am I gonna give the guy his necklace or what? Before I do that, you know what? Let's let's maybe talk to the guy about the necklace. Do I believe him that he's gonna send it back to the family? I don't believe him, right? Alright, Murray's Meat Market. Meat Emporium, my bad. <laughs> An Emporium of Meat. The small meat stand represents an enormous diversity of dead animals, from cow and canine to the exotic and paranormal. The picture on the back of the stand features a much older version of the man in front of you. As soon as he notices Paco, the proprietor's eyes become hard and angry. What do you want? You know we can't afford more. Relax, man. My friend just has a question. <laughs> uh, you must be Murray. Do I look like a fat old man to you? I'm Manny. Maury's my dad. Now what do you want? Uh, do you know someone named... Why would someone want to buy zebra meat for? Some people eat it, but I wouldn't recommend that. Tough as nails. We mostly sell it to corp security teams who use it to reward their hellhounds. The flamers go crazy for the stuff for some reason. Ah, hellhounds. So the meat is to distract the hellhounds, and the gun is also for the hellhounds. Oh, Drek, that's why Coyote wanted zebra meat. Everyone talks about the pet hellhound Stevie J keeps locked up somewhere in the Royale. 
and if she never picked it up, whatever, anything else? I have this recipe for an order of zebra meat, still have it for me. Now look it up. Yeah, got it right here, two days past the pickup time. Didn't think anyone was going to come for it. Here, it's all yours now. Alright. Do you know someone named Coyote? Nope, I don't go in much for that charm and stuff. <laughs> What's your problem with Paco? Why don't you ask him? What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means your gang likes to stroll through here and relieve us merchants of our, of our yen. My dad stood up to them and he's still in the hospital. Look, that's not my problem. I'm at the bottom of the cut of ranks anyway. I couldn't do drag about that even if I wanted to. Tell that to my dad. I don't have time for this, we need to find Coyote. Alright, let's get going. I was done with him anyway? Alright, let's... Uh, let's think about that, Nicholas. Do I talk to him again? Nope. I can still talk to him, but I don't have anything to talk to him about right now. Frank. Frank looks up as you approach. Were you able to find Lucy's necklace? I've got it, sure. I don't recall if we discussed payment yet. <laughs> do, do I believe him? He sighs. Looks, here's 200 win, that's all I can, 200 yen, that's all I can spare. Sorry, but the wood on this piece alone is worth more than 200 yen. It looks like I have to find another buyer. <laughs> what? Really? Wow, alright then, you're a real piece of work. <laughs> oh, and then you can't talk to him again. You can't offer to sell it to him again. Interesting. <laughs> A real piece of work. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> the game gives us no clues as to what's going on with the with the necklace. But I'm gonna hold on to it. Come on, guy, let's go find Coyote. Alright, I'm ready. The Royale Apartments. You roll up on the most impressive bit of tenement squalor you've seen in a long time. There's few street lamps here, and what light there is flickers with uncertainty. Most of the buildings are damaged and tagged. The smell of old rotting trash mixed with you don't want to know is overwhelming. Alright, so it's a rundown tenement. It's no wonder people living here turn to BTLs. Anything, anything's better than this. The better than life chip. Is the newest drug on the market. You don't need a good life. You can slot some someone else's, live through them, and wreck your brain in the process. The front doors of the Royal Apartments aren't even locked. As you step inside, you can hear a junkie crying for another hit. It's time to find Coyote and find out what she knows about the night of Sam's murder. Better than life, Chip. So it's somebody else's memory. Somebody else's memory of having a good time, and you just plug that into your brain. The Royal Apartments, what a hole. Can't imagine what it was like for Coyote growing up here. We hit it to give business. A hell of a of junkies look like Stevie James gets their rent money and their drug money. These poor people, what a waste. If Coyote's here, we have to hurry. She's good, but well, these BTL guys pay to stay well informed. They may have known she was coming. Alright. Oh, my objective is to keep Paco alive. Find Coyote, keep Paco alive. Alright, let me just think about using my karma, right? Spend karma. Drone. I mean, I don't have a bit of drone yet. 
One, two, th wait, no, wrong button, my bad. Drone? Oh, that's not drone, that's quickness. Quickness, range combat. What is this? Food also available, weapon permitting. The drone's not that good. Three, six. All right, so my gun is at three, three. I guess next I'll do the drone to three. going on here? What do you have? Tweaker? The woman scratches herself like a cat on a couch leg. Please, can you spare some wind? My uh, yen. My cred sticks a little light, lady. What can you do for me in exchange? You've got a stink on you, junkie. Drop the chips, get clean. You look like you could use a break. All you need is a few wind for a bit of the knife chip, right? <laughs> uh... My crit sticks a little light too, lady. What can you do for me in exchange? I got nothing left to give, guy. It all goes to BTLs, everything. Please, just a few win. Just a few uh, yen. Ah, uh, maybe I can credit you for some information. Have you seen a woman come through here today? I'm then looking for trouble. Yes, no, hell, what do you want me to say? I'll tell you anything, ev everything, please. She drops to her knees, pleading. You're too far gone too far gone to help me or anyone. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. You should leave this place if you can. Yeah, get out of here. But but that doesn't make sense. The BTLs are here. I just need something. She collapses whimpering and seems lost in to this world. Oh she's completely gone. Oh, look at this trash! Trash. Can we? S we can't wait through the trash. <laughs> Delicious. More of them. What do you have? Sad old man. Like a lazy pigeon, he watches you approach. You're not from around here, are you? I don't want any trouble. Easy, Grams. I'm just looking for information. Then I'm gone. Things are pretty bad here, but I can make them even worse for you. Yeah, that's not. That's not bullying, old man. You have quite the vantage point here, but you don't miss. But you don't miss much. See anything special today? Just looking for information. Bad day to come around here unexpected. Bit of a commotion upstairs. Stevie's men are twitchy. This pretty young thing came through earlier, snooping around like you two are. I could tell you she wasn't here for BTLs. Don't know how she got upstairs, but there was a lot of more gunfire there than there usually is this time this time of day. That's not good. Did you see her come back down again? Plan on doing anything about it. What happened next? Nope. Couple of Stevie's men came around asking what anyone saw. Kept my mouth shut, I did. Where's Stevie hold up? He got the whole... He's got the whole top floor all to himself. Fancies he's the king around here. Uh, Sounds like Coyote's run red, went sideways on her. Great, now this is an extraction. She's my only lead right now, can you help me out? Sounds like Coyote's run went sideways on her. Hey old man, you know how to get upstairs? You've been right friendly, but I can't get on the wrong side of Stevie J's, I'm sure you understand. Alright, strength 4. I bet your creaky old bones will stab really easily. Charisma 4, look, we're here to save her. Do you really want that girl's fate on your conscience? Alright, so we can't get his help. Have you noticed that we've never been able to use any of these things? <laughs> My stats are somehow wrong for every single encounter. You've already stuck your head, your neck out, your neck to help us. We'll find another way, right? Do I have four of anything? I have four intelligence. How come intelligence doesn't work for anything? 